What, what's good, you two? This your man, Spill Dog. I saw an interview yesterday with uh, Derrick James in it, and it just kind of uh, it just kind of gave me a lot more confidence in what I was, had already been thinking, man. Uh, Spence gonna kill this boy if they sign, if they if they agree to this fight. He gonna he, he gonna wipe he gonna he gonna watch. Uh, but I see that now, man. Uh, DJ Derrick James look like they the least bit worried about that boy. I'm talking about not in the least bit. That shit, it's, it's almost like a joke to him, you know. Uh, and me seeing his attitude and what he did say say a whole lot to me. But part of what he said is what I've been doing is true. When people be saying about how good Crawford feet is and him moving around the ring, he will not be moving around that ring like that on Spence. I was, I was saying the same thing. DJ been saying just in a different way. Uh, he cut the ring off too good. He, he too big for you to get, you know, you're not going to have that, that distance that he used to have with these other fighters. He going to have to be where he can get touched to the land punches. So he going to be get he going to get touched way more than he used to. And Spence going to do his body work. He going downstairs. You ain't going to be able to stop that. Uh, I just don't think he fought the right people to get him ready for uh even if he fought the right people, man, he just ain't gonna beat this boy. I just think Spence is clearly a better fighter. I just do, you know. Uh, people keep saying what well, he ain't showed. He ain't had to show it. The boy winning like this, uh, make him do something different. That you gotta make people come in, go into their trick bag. Shit, uh, and just remember what Floyd fought. People sometimes thought he did the same thing every time. That's because it wasn't. It, it, it was so easy to him. Now, but when, when you pr brought pressure to him, you saw different stuff. You seen Floyd go go toe to toe, all that stuff when he's forced to do it. But if if you gonna let like if Spence could just work you with the left jab and hit you with the, with straight lefts and left hooks and right hooks when he want to, and he just gonna walk you down and uh and take the fight. You can't. I mean, he don't. Have, you know, you do shit different when you have to. But if was but if what you're doing is working, why would you change it? That don't even make sense. I mean, he ain't even close. It's having even been close to not working. So until somebody can uh, can can stop him from doing what he's doing, he ain't supposed to change. He's supposed to be the uh walk him down if he can. Hey, if a dude can't take what you got, then go ahead get him on up out of there. Uh, I don't have no problem with that. I've seen Bud walk fighters down too. Uh, the ones he thought he needed to walk down. I mean, uh, that's just hey, that's a, that Spence got to come forward aggressive style, and point blank period. The only way to stop him is put something on. And he been able to take what everybody been giving him. I mean, I have seen Spence get hit with a lot of flush punches, and he handled them well. I've seen Crawford get touched a lot, and he's handled them. I won't say it as well, but. I, I can say this, he ain't, it ain't like he been getting knocked down and getting hurt in a lot of fights. So, you know, uh, it, it'll be a, it's gonna be a pretty good fight for a few rounds. But I, I think, I think Spence going it's gonna be like everybody else, pretty much. Uh, you know, how, a matter of fact, I don't think Crawford gonna do as well as Sean Porter did with Spence because I don't think Spence gonna give Sean Porter and say Crawford the same fight he gave Sean Porter. He gave Sean Porter whatever he wanted in that fight and it almost cost him you know but he still pulled that out late he he done made his rookie he done made his rookie mistakes uh i don't see him doing nothing stupid in this fight against bud he gonna take it 100 percent serious and uh i i've been saying this since we started doing this it ain't going 12 rounds i doubt that very seriously uh because buzz uh i i believe his his courage and him being who he is, is going to force him to fight when he don't need to. And he's going to make get himself clipped, you know, because uh, I, I think Spence going to get a lead early and he's going to feel the need to try to come back. That's what I feel going to happen, and I think that's when he's going to get in trouble when he's standing there and trying to fight with uh, Spence. I mean, you know, at some point he's going to have to, but that wouldn't be the that, – that's just not the smart plan to go in there and think you can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with this boy. And go punch for punch, unless you unless you know you can knock him out. And I ain't seen nothing to, to make me think Crawford gonna be able to knock him out. Uh, you know, so it, it's gonna be. A, I mean, it's gonna be a good fight long as it lasts. But I, I don't think it's gonna be. A, I don't think it's gonna be a long night in this one. 
seven to seven to seven to nine, seven to ten rounds tops. You know, uh, but I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be somewhat close, similar to Hagler Hearns, where they gonna come out from, the, from round one getting at it, and somebody gonna go down. That's just what I feel. Uh, but yeah, but that's it for me on this video. If you like the video, hit the like and subscribe. Till next time, it's your boy Spill Dog. I'm out.